as long as it, it's been around, as the age old argument has been around since I've been talking about business. So I wanted to touch on it. I'm sure you all know, but we're going to go here anyway. So markup versus margin. Right? This is one of the simplest things in business. Um, we have a product we want to sell for a profit, right? Obviously. We want to make 50% on it. Does that sound good? Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 50%. So if we multiply it by 1.5 to make our profit, that's what we usually do, right? Right? No, this is bad. Because it doesn't give you 50% profit. It gives you 50% markup, but it doesn't give you 50% profit. You can do this, but only expect 50% profit. Let me show you why. So if we go, excuse me, paper cam, we'll just start here. So if we got $100, right? We want to do a markup of 50%. You know, we got 150 dollars right 150 dollars i'll just verify it on the calculator here let's make sure there's no tomfoolery going on 150 100 whoops 100 times 150 or 1.5 excuse me 150 okay so then you take 150 Divide it by 50. You understand what I'm doing there? 150. So we're left. So we wanted the $50. We made $50 on top of the 150, right? So we got $50 on top of the 100, which gives us 150. Divided by, that's what this means, divided by 50. Excuse me, 50, which is the same difference, is 33%. So your profit margin is actually 33%. Okay? So, for simple numbers, let's say do, we'll just go through that again. If we multiply that by 1.5, we get 150, right? But if we, you know, if we divide 50 into 150, do we get 50%? No, we just showed you that. No, it's 33%. This is why we don't use markup. We don't use markup because you are not, at the end of the year, you've been thinking the whole time, oh, I'm going to make 50%. I'm going to make 50% at the end of the year because I've been marking up 100, you know, 50%. Well, you're not. You're going to get 33% at the end of the year. So it's inaccurate. So what do we do? This is how we do it. Using the same numbers, $100 item with a desired 50% profit margin. That's a really good profit margin. It's also a good example because it's simple numbers. We take the $100 and divide it by 50%, equaling 200. So if we check our work, the result is 50% profit margin. We use margin, not markup. Okay? So, we go 100. Oh, I gotta go to the camera here. So if we go 100 divided by 0.5, it's $200, okay? And we could use anything. It could be $100. Let's say we wanted to do, um, let's do this. $100. So I want to make 30% and divide it by 0 0.6. 166. If you have questions on that, you know, I'm... 
if you have questions on that, I'm always available to answer your questions. But this is how we get to a, a stable profit margin within the business. So willing to show that to you one-on-one, -on -one, free cost. So back to the presentation. We use margin, not markup. 